So is a new era of kicking a cheater to the curb upon us? Helen Fisher is an anthropologist and author of Why Him, Why Her? And Jonathan Alpert is a psychotherapist and writes the No More Drama column for Metro Newspaper. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Helen, let me start with you. Women used to stay for financial security or for the sake of the kids, but now it seems that women aren't necessarily sticking around anymore. Is, is this a change of the times? Uh, it's, it, it's an indication of one of the biggest worldwide social trends, which is women piling into the job market in cultures around the world and everywhere in the world where women are economically powerful enough, they can walk out of bad marriages in order to make better ones, and they do it. Jonathan, as a psychotherapist, are you seeing more and more women, instead of staying, deciding to leave bad marriages? Jen, I'm seeing a lot of women that feel empowered and they're leaving their, uh, their marriages. They're simply not putting up with the BS. They feel empowered and they're moving on. And it's not just regular, I mean, it's a lot of how these high profile cases as well, right? The husband's public image has a lot to do with it. His reputation has a lot to do with it. And that's usually on the line. And a lot of women stay as a result. That's not a good enough reason to stay. Absolutely. In the past, they would stay with their man. They became accustomed to the lifestyle, uh, the riches. But now they're, they're moving on. They're simply not putting up with it. Uh, they realize that there is love post-divorce and they're pursuing it. Ellen, how much of whether women stay or not has to do with public opinion? Because even Elizabeth Edwards at first decided she was going to stay yeah. with her husband. I think it has an enormous amount to do with it. You know, the whole evolution of gossip. Amazing. Gossip probably evolved millions of years ago in order to tell people what to do and what not to do and what they thought about what people should do. And so we're very responsive to gossip. We listen to it. We feel badly if we don't follow what the social belief system is. And certainly, America's been scratching their head. Why do these women Women stay when they don't have to and I think a lot of them are hearing that and can you answer that question Jonathan why was it why for so long did these women decide you know what it's okay I, w I will stick by my man well they became very comfortable being uncomfortable and they uh, perhaps were afraid to leave they didn't have a strategy in place but I'm seeing women come into in my practice who uh, they want to develop a strategy an exit plan so to speak they realize that there is love post-divorce so um, Helen even if they're not leaving these men like Ellen Woods at first didn't but then decided she was going to leave they're definitely not playing this long suffering woe is exactly. me someone please help me kind of role am I right well now they've got some new power they can say you know if you do this if you don't do this I'll do this so right. they've got more power in the relationship now so they can make some bargaining they've got some privileges now and so perhaps this is what they need in order to get what they want by the way you know for millions of years women were very economically powerful I mean it wasn't until we set down on the farm that women began to take on this role of just the mother and the wife and not an economic provider. I mean for millions of years women commuted to work to gather their vegetables. They came home with much of the evening meal. The double income family was the rule. Right. So what's really going on is women are regaining the power that they had for millions of years and expressing it by looking for love and where they can find it. Well it's a very healthy discussion. Helen Fisher, Jonathan Alpert, we thank you both so much for being with us.